Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at mouse input. So in the previous couple of tutorials we were looking at um, uh, input using the keyboard. So being able to recognize individual key presses and then have the game react to um, different keys being pressed on the keyboard. In this tutorial we'll look at mouse input. We'll look at two different types of mouse input. So that's mouse button clicks and mouse movement. So um, basically in addition to detecting key presses in your game, you can also have code in your Unity game that can be used to detect mouse button clicks and mouse movement and then have characters or objects or scenes react to those clicks and the mouse movement. So to detect mouse button clicks, we'll be using the get mouse button down method, um, which it takes an integer value between zero and two to specify which mouse button you want to check for, which one's being pressed. So zero is for the left button, one is for the right button, and two is for the middle button. So the get mouse button down method checks if the mouse, or if um, a particular mouse button, so either the left, right, or middle button, is being clicked, and then it will return a Boolean value either true or false. So true if it's um, being clicked and false if it isn't being clicked. There's also um, a couple of other methods like the get mouse button up method, which checks basically if the mouse has been released, the mouse button's been released. Okay, so this is just a game um, from the previous tutorial and I've got an existing script in here which is used to check for um, the key presses on the keyboard. So I'm just gonna add some code um, to this existing game and I'm not actually going to do anything with the mouse clicks um, in the game or mouse movement apart from just displaying a message in the console um, if there's been button clicks or mouse movement. So we'll go to the code for that move script. So this is the existing code and in the update method here I'm going to add some new lines of code. So first thing we're going to do is check for mouse button clicks. And so um, what we can do is we can create some Boolean variables to store um, Boolean values of either true or false if the mouse button is being clicked. So we'll start with bool and we'll create a variable called is left button down. Okay, so this is a Boolean variable called is left button down. I'm going to use the input component dot get mouse. Okay, so you can see that there's um, some options here like get mouse button, get mouse button down, get mouse button up. We're going to use get mouse button down. So I can just use a down arrow to select that one and hit return or enter. And so it just fills that out for me, auto complete. And in brackets, I'm going to put zero. So zero is the value used to um, check for the left button. So this is checking if the left button's being clicked. Okay, we can do the same here. Um, but now we'll have bool is right button down um, and that will be one. Okay, so one is for the right button and then lastly um, we'll have to check for the middle button. So bool is middle button down because input dot get mouse button down and that's two okay there we go all right now that's not really going to do anything at the moment except for storing true or false values in each of those variables depending on whether the buttons are being clicked or not but we can display the results so um, for example we could print is left button down and basically every time we click the left button, it should display in the console um, true if it's being clicked or false if it's not being clicked. So we can save that and go back to Unity. And oops, there is a message there. Okay, so it's not an error, it's just saying that variable is being created, but its value is not being used. So we can just ignore that because the middle and right um, Boolean variables are not being used yet. We can play this game and all right, so it's spitting out messages every single frame. It's just saying false. 
but as soon as I click in the game with the left mouse button, it should start saying true. So it's checking every single frame, but there are some, you can see that true is popping up there every time I click with the right button. Okay, so there's some true variables in there. We'll just stop the game. And you can see there's lots of false because it's checking every single frame, but there are some messages saying true when the mouse was actually clicked. Okay, so that is just basically displaying the value, either true or false. What we can do now is um, we can have an if statement. So we can have, we might actually just get rid of all of this here. We can have if and in brackets input dot get mouse button down and then zero in brackets and close the other brackets for the if statement and just put the curly brackets in for this if statement for the um, action that's going to happen if this condition is true. So basically we're just checking if the left mouse button is down. So if input dot get mouse button down zero, which basically means um, if it's true, if the mouse button or the left mouse button is down, then we'll do something. What we'll do is we'll print the left mouse button was pressed. Okay, and we could do the same thing for the middle button and the right button as well, but you get the drift. So if it was the um, right button, then this value would be one. If we want to check for the middle button, then that value would be two. So we can just copy and paste the code for each of those mouse buttons, but I'm only going to test for the left mouse button because um, yeah, that's all we really need to do. So I've saved that and play the game. And we'll go to the console. And you can see there, it's already displayed the message down here, but um, there you go. So I click and it says the left mouse button was pressed. Okay, so it's only actually displaying this message when I click the mouse button. So it's not checking every single frame and displaying either false or true. It's only displaying the message when it's true. So in other words, if we just go back to the code, before what we had was we were, um, we made a variable called is left button down and that would check um, whether the input, it, whether the left button was down or not. Um, so it would be either true or false. And then it was printing true or false, but it was doing that every single frame. But with this code here, it's just an if statement it's checking every single frame if that mouse button is down, but it's only going to display this message here if the mouse button is actually down. So there we go in the console here, we clicked a few times and we've got the message there, the left mouse button was pressed. Okay, so that's how to check for mouse button clicks. And what we'll do now is check for mouse movement. So mouse movement, is measured by reading the amount that the mouse has moved since the last frame. And it's checked across the X and Y axes on screen. So it's not checking where the mouse position is. Um, it's checking how far it's moved since the last frame with this code that we're about to use. So it will read the mouse movement and it will display the value in the console. That's what we're going to do with the code I'm about to type in. So um, we'll create two variables in the update method, two float variables. So one will just be called mouse x value, and that will check um, movement on the x axis. And then we'll make one for the y axis as well. So this one is float mouse x value equals input. And we're going to use the get axis method. So get axis, and then in brackets, will be mouse x just typed exactly like that okay and in that with a semicolon and the same here float mouse y value this time 
equals input dot get access and then in um, quotation mark some quotes double quotes mouse y okay pretty simple now what we're going to add to that is an if statement so if mouse x value um, is not equal to zero so in other words if the mouse is not moving at all then the x and y values are going to be zero but as soon as the mouse starts moving it's going to start um, putting in different values there so um, different values for the x-axis different values for the y-axis so um, let's just continue this and we'll have a look at how that works in a sec so got the if statement condition there now we'll add uh, inside these curly brackets we'll add the actual code what will occur if there is movement on the x-axis so we'll print this message mouse x movement and then we'll concatenate so we'll have that string displaying there in the console but we'll also add to the end of that sentence the actual max, mouse x value so the actual value of movement on the x-axis for mouse okay um, so that's for the x-axis now what we can do is copy and paste that code and just change it to y so wherever it says x just change that to y okay we'll save that and basically just to sum that up this bit of code here this if statement it's going to check if the mouse x value is not equal to zero so if it's either a negative or positive number it means that the mouse is moving either left or right on the x-axis and here we check the y-axis so if the y value is not equal to zero it's going to be either a negative or a positive number if it's negative it means the mouse is moving down on the y-axis if it's positive it means the mouse is moving up on the y-axis okay so that's saved we'll go to unity and we'll um, play this again might just clear the console there okay sorry i'll just play that again okay here we go so i'm moving the mouse around now what i'll do is now notice at the moment i'm not moving the mouse so no messages are being displayed but if i move up i get mouse y movement i get positive numbers there if i move the mouse cursor down i get negative numbers there for mouse y movement so negative no, negative values represent the mouse moving down on the y-axis when it says mouse y movement and when we, when we get positive values for mouse y movement it means that the mouse is moving up okay and you can see there that there's also some x values coming out as well because i'm not moving the mouse up and down in a perfectly straight line it is moving to the left or right a little bit okay so if i move the mouse to the left now i get messages there mouse x movement and I get negative numbers there. So minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.5. So that's showing that the um, mouse is moving on the x-axis to the left. So those negative values mean left. Okay, if I move it to the right, then I get positive values there. Okay, so, and if I'm moving it around in circles, then you can see it's just continuous messages coming out on the console for both x and y and you know positive and negative values there all right so that's how to check for mouse movement um, using c sharp in unity so you can use that code and rather than having little um, print statements there to display messages in the console you can actually start to add some um, code there which will detect mouse movement and react to that mouse movement. So maybe when you move the mouse up, um, a camera might move up or an object might move up. And when you move the mouse down, an object or a camera or something like that will move down. So um, being able to use mouse movement, uh, mouse click detection and key press detection on the keyboard is pretty handy for um, allowing your players to interact in your game. All right, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, soon we'll be looking at um, things like gravity 
um, and also we'll be looking at collision detection as well in the next tutorials. Thanks for watching.